Finally, it's time to come home. It's a game week in advance of the home opener, Ohio and Idaho on Saturday at Peden Stadium. But before that, we all convened at Donato's on East State Street in Athens on Monday for the Frank Solich Show. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Tough one in Huntington last Saturday, 44-14. Ohio's run against Marshall is done. Now you get set for the Vandals as a one and two ball club. Idaho comes in 0-2. But before that, let's slice up the Solid Show for you from Donato's on the Ohio IMG Sports Network. You know, it's a very good Marshall uh, football team. Um, you know, we needed to hold up, uh, obviously, better in all phases of the, of the game. Uh, defensively, you know, we let them get uh, enough of a running game going that that uh, did cause a problem. And then, uh, you know, Cato had uh, I think by far his best game uh, in the four years that, that we came up uh, up against him. Uh, you know, he was pretty much uh, on fire in terms of it, uh, right on the mark in terms of his throws. You know, their, their receivers won, uh, uh, won more than their fair share of one-on-one -on -one battles and that became a problem in terms of big plays and, and point, uh, point production. And, um, and then offensively, you know, we we're just not able right now, we're not getting it done in terms of matching point for point. Um, uh, you know, uh, I would like to believe that that's, uh, that's it's going to need to occur as, as we go, uh, go through the, the, the season. Um, we need to certainly put a lot, of, lot more point production on the, uh, on, the, on the board. We're finding ways to hurt ourselves um, offensively, whether it's fumbles, whether it's uh, penalties, mm -hmm. um, you know, missed assignments, uh, th those kind of things. And, and so, um, uh, you know, we are in some ways making some strides in certain areas. Uh, you know, we, we got, just got to get better play uh, generally all, all, all around. Uh, started Darius Vick again this past Saturday. Mm -hmm. J.D. Sprague did play in the second half. Uh, Darius's uh, numbers against Marshall, he did uh, throw for 200 yards, 18 of 29, an INT in the touchdown. J.D. was 4 of 8 for a touchdown and 36 yards. Are you uh, settled at the quarterback position, or is that still in flux moving forward for Idaho and, Idaho and beyond? Well, it, you know, it's not a position where, where we're going to be switching out every, uh, every other game, you know. But um, uh, it's going to come down to how well guys playing, you know. We think right now we've given uh, quarterback time to, um, to both guys. And, um, you know, they've, they've shown flashes of really doing things well, and so we're capable of... Uh, having some depth at the quarterback position, and that's certainly very, very, very important. The Cats have won so much in the past, and they're starting off great with Dean Webb as Ohio's head coach now. They're 6-3 and three to start off the season. How about a nice round of applause for your first-year head man? <laughs> great to see you. Thank you. 6-3 and three to the start of the year. You knock off San Diego State, VCU, Vontech, Xavier, Ohio State. How about a round of applause for a win over Ohio State? And Syracuse losses to Hawaii, nationally ranked, Arizona State, nationally ranked, and Texas A&M, which was the first match back from that trip to Hawaii. So there you go there. Six and three, are you happy with the start to your season? Well, so every coach wants to be undefeated. I mean, that's, that's kind of part of our profession. But at the same time, uh, we know we've, we've played a number of quality opponents. Uh, Texas A&M, obviously we lost in our home opener. Texas A&M this last weekend went out to California and beat number six USC and number 12 San Diego uh, this weekend. So... Uh, definitely had a great preseason schedule. It's what we, we want. We want to play top teams. And I think one of the real reasons we're improving quickly is because of the quality of opponent that we're playing. The big thing when you come into a new program is to, to assess the personnel. I mean, you can have ideas about how you want to do things, but if it doesn't fit your personnel, then it's the wrong things. And there are some things that I needed to change, that I needed to move towards the team. And there, there are some things that it makes sense to come in and change because you need to work towards something you really believe in. And there are some things that, okay, let's meet in the middle. And so I think there, there's been a balance of that. Uh, I think our, our team is um, improving uh, rapidly. I think going into the year, just knowing the, the level of schedule that we had in front of us, uh, we knew that there really wasn't a lot of margin for error. And if you look at all of our matches, there really have not been very many sets that were decided by more than four points, either matches that we won or matches that we lost. And so I, I think it is happening. It, it happens in little moments, in little acknowledgments, like, oh, okay, all right, this is good. This is really helping us. And it, it happens in, in big moments when, like, wow, that was, that was really good today. And we started achieving some things that 
that we knew we needed to that maybe a few months ago we didn't. I think Ohio State was a great example of that. It's a team we played in the spring, and and I can't use too strong of a word for how badly we were beaten in the spring. I mean, we were throttled. And I think we hit 080. They hit almost 400. Uh, I mean, we, we were not – we were not on the same court at the same time. It was, it was a tough environment. Uh, on our side, it was very tense. We were not playing together. And just to see our team a few months later, how hard they've worked to be a cohesive unit and then go out and, and get a big win versus an in-state rival, uh, that was just maybe one more step that, okay, we're heading the right direction. We're going to have to find a way to, to start putting more points on the board. That's obviously obvious when you are in the MAC conference you know you've got to be able to score score points and and so I think that'll come I think it is coming um, and uh, so we're, we're encouraged with um, with that um, defensively we're going to have to uh, find a way to shut the running that game down completely and and then do a good job against their throwing game yeah it Darius Vic at least at this point, going to be starting for you on Saturday. We touched mm -hmm. on the quarterback situation earlier, but mm -hmm. he will go for you? Yeah, he will start. And, you know, really, he had a, a, a good ball game if you look at it uh, statistically. You know, there were some, a few plays he left on the field, and, and uh, but obviously, you know, th this is uh, just his third or so start, uh, you know, coming up, uh, fourth start. Uh, and so uh, he's, a, he's a young guy on the field himself.